Hey, hey guys. guys! I'm Jim. And I'm Sarah. Welcome back to JS Backstage. <laughs> who's a lot older than you. Very important. And I mean a lot older, not just 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so, these um, points we're going to give, it, it doesn't just um, apply to if someone is older than you. It should actually apply all around because you just never know. I mean, like well, the fact of the matter is that all of the issues we're going to discuss could come up even if you're the same age exactly, as your spouse. Exactly. But the risk of these things happening, the risk of these becoming an issue or a problem is greater Correct. with a spouse that's considerably older than you. And the first one we we're, uh, we're going to discuss is the risk of outliving your spouse. Even if you're the same age when you get married uh, to somebody, one of you is going to die first. You don't know who's going to die first. But when there's a significant age difference, I'm talking close to 20 years or more, 30 years difference and up, the risk becomes greater that you are going to outlive your spouse. How are you going to cope with that? Correct. How, you know, you have to think in advance about the fact that you may be a widow or a widower at a very young age because your marriage chose to marry somebody who was a lot older and age itself becomes a risk of dying of dying earlier. Correct, correct. Not to say that if you're the younger partner, you can go first, you know. No, that can happen. It, it can happen, so, <laughs> the, you know, it's just... You can have a 40 year, 40 year difference, but, you know, the the older person is in perfect health, lives to be 130, and, you know, yeah. you, you, croak, you croak five years after you get married. But it's just <laughs> a risk, and it's something you have to think about and figure out how you're going to cope, what are you going to do, are you going to, you know, you, yeah. you just have... You, you never know in advance, but you just have to prepare yourself, you know, because... It's just a consideration. Correct. It's, the odds are greater. The older you get, the more health problems you are likely to develop, and the greater risk of dying. Yeah. So, if you're marrying somebody who's considerably older than you, that's something to think about. Absolutely. And if you're marrying somebody considerably younger than you, that's something for you to think about too. What are you going to leave them? How are they going to care for themselves if something happens to you? The next consideration is what if something catastrophic happens, they don't die, they become an invalid, and now you have to care for them. You know, or their health declines, and as their health declines, they're less and less active, and you have to do more and more for, uh, uh, for them. How is this going to affect, you know, the decision to have children? Are you, if you have four children and your spouse needs constant care, you know, how are you going to cope with that if, if that happens? Correct. Are you prepared for it? Yeah. Like, do you have the mindset, you know, are you going to throw your spouse into a, what do you call it, a nursing home? Or, yeah. Are, you, know, are you just, just going to be done with your spouse because he's, yeah. uh, 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 because, well, he can't do what you wanted him to do, so Correct. You, you're going to be done with him? Correct. Or yeah. are you still going to love him and care for him? Correct. Or her? Because the reverse is possible. The reverse I is possible. I worked with a man at the jail who was married to a woman 20 years older than him. And he loved her dearly. He was in his 50s, she was in her, uh, uh, she was in her 70s. So, uh, the reverse is possible. How are you going to cope with it if your spouse has a stroke or other catastrophic illness that leaves them so that they need to be cared for just like an infant. Can right. you cope with that? It's even if you're marrying someone the same age, it's that fun. can happen. Correct. That could happen. Correct. But the gre the, uh, the greater the age difference, the more this is a possibility that you need to consider. 
if you're marrying somebody, if you're fully committed, then no matter what happens to them, you're going to care for them. Are you fully committed? You know, this is something to uh, take into account before marrying somebody who's considerably older than you. I'm, I know I'm fully committed. For one, I don't personally, I don't think I can ever put my spouse. As long as I'm alive or as long as I'm alive, I don't think I can ever put my spouse in a nursing home. And that's just because it's I me. I am blessed. Because one, I'm not in a hurry to go looking for another husband and going, oh, this one is, you know what, no, let me get... I might not even get married. <laughs> because... Forget the spouse part of it. I'm overly protective, uh, protective of my kids. And I don't think I want any other man to be in the same house, like, living with me where it's not their father because of so many stories out there. So I just don't think I want to be in that situation. So I'm not in a hurry for anything. You know, for me, it's just my husband and my kids. And I just... You know, I love my husband, man. Yeah, same way, toi. <laughs> so, yeah. I love you so much, baby. I love you. I'm not just, I'm, I'm not in a hurry. I'm, so, I'm not saying that, you know, if your husband, you know, some, God forbid, if something happens to your spouse, don't get married. I'm not saying that. You know, I'm just, uh, it's something I've known from, there's some things you know, you know, from day one, like this is the way I want things to be, you know, and for me, my kids are super important, like, so important that you know for me nothing else matters he knows right he he, he knows he matters because he gave it to me he gave that <laughs> to me but you know for me not our first child nothing, nothing <laughs> is that important so i'm not in a hurry to get rid of my husband you know he's gonna be around for a while i'm glad to hear that yeah <laughs> another consideration is if you're marrying somebody that's a lot older than you and you're going to have children with them are they going to be up to when those children when those children reach teenage years and need help in sports are they going to be up to being active with those children participating in sports and coaching with those children and and helping those children in in physical activities you know this another consideration you need you need to think about we are very active with our children we're super active yeah uh we've super active we've taught our two oldest how to swim and we're working on teaching uh, the the two youngest uh the two oldest have uh both taken karate and beaten up on me <laughs> oh, <beat up. laughs> poor man and I'm so, so sorry. you know i i have deliberately taken the blows in order to let them practice th their karate uh, as well as providing you know punching bags and stuff for them to hit and our oldest daughter has taken judo and I have been her throwing oh dummy uh, and at 270 pounds I do not land lightly on any <laughs> surface uh, carpeting is not good padding over concrete when you're landing um, but you know I, i'm fortunate i do know how to roll <laughs> yeah you've been a very active father which i'm super happy for you know so yeah that's one of the things i think you should consider you know except if you want to do it all by yourself and something else too there's sometimes even even though jim does a lot he helps out a lot he's always you know with us and you know doing things with the kids and super active and helping them out there's sometimes he hurts, you know, maybe like, you remember the other day your foot hurts or whatnot? I'm older. I've had gout for 30 years. I've got other health problems and I'm considerably overweight. And it has, you know, it, it takes its toll. Yeah. And sometimes my feet are too swollen for me to go walking around and, and participating. And as much as I want to be active with my children, uh, it's curtailed. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I'm out there with them, running with them, doing things with them, 
and sometimes I can't. Correct. Sometimes he can. So you as the spouse, are you ready to take on that responsibility? You know, because when Jim is down, you know, I mean, I take care of him. I try to do whatever I can, you know, and then I just take the kids and go, you know. For me, it's not... I don't feel like, oh, I have to do this by myself. I knew what I was signing up for. I was prepared and you know, so your mindset has to be prepared. How are you going to handle this if your spouse is not able to, you know, participate or do things with you, you know? How are you going to, how are you gonna do it yourself? Will you be up to doing it yourself? And this is why it matters to think about how many kids you're gonna have because not 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 look my side me where I want plenty picking cha 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 they find picking everywhere. I know say I feel handle love. So if you know say if you handle plenty picking, they go for the picking. But if you know say you the na older man you they marry, you go they find plenty plenty picking. You better be ready to take care of them, you know? And if he helps you be very grateful like I am. The last point we wanna make is if you're marrying somebody considerably older than you, if they're providing a significant amount of the income for the family, how are you going to manage financially if you lose them? What are you going to do? Have you made plans? I, even if there's life insurance, that's not going to take you very far. What are your plans to take care of yourself and any children from the relationship and any prior children if something happens to your spouse. Correct. If, he's, if he or she is no longer able to supply the, it, the income that you are used to having. Correct. And um, I must say in the U.S., I think, I think they're, um, I, I don't know if they provide some, uh, what do you call them? When one spouse dies, the income, what do you call it? Uh, uh, supplemental social security or spousal social security. I don't know if they. I don't know if they do, but I think there are some. You know, but I, I just don't think it would go a long way, even if you're in the U.S. You it, know, it's so. not much. It won't go very far. Correct. You have to be in the U.S. to collect it. You Correct. Can't, you no, can't but I'm just saying that um, the U U U citizens are a little bit more fortunate to have a little more help here and there. Yeah. But bottom line is before you get married to somebody that's older and even if you're getting married to somebody that you're on the same you know same age bracket it's very important for women especially women to be able to take care of their families and it doesn't have to be you know even if you didn't go to school or you didn't get a master's degree or P there's so many other things that Personally, I feel a woman should be doing on the side and this is the reason why as soon as I came here I started working to have that experience to feel Empowered to know that you know God forbid if anything happens, you know I know that I will be able to stand one way or the other, you know And you also you also have to consider how many kids you're having because like I said, don't follow my coconut head because my old head, not coconut head, you know? <laughs> I wanted a lot, I wanted kids because I was my own mom's only child. But you really seriously have to be able to think, can you take care of all these kids if your spouse is no longer here? If you your know? spouse dies or if your spouse is, is, is becomes an invalid, you know, yeah, can you still you, take care of those kids? How are you going to manage to take care of those kids? So you really, really, really have to, you know, think about these things before you jumping but these are the things you should think about before you go having kids and even if you're married to somebody of the same age please god forbid people have had accidents people yeah. have just died out of nowhere yeah you, you have uh, you, you have to know how you're going to take care of yourself if something because at that point that's when you know if you have friends or family it's going to hit hard even yeah, no. even if you're the same age 
and talk Even about it. And it, the important thing is sometimes people are too shy, shy to talk about it. They shy away from topics like this. But we talk about it. I you tell, have to. Oh my gosh. I tell GM. I, I don't even tell him the other way around. This is, I tell GM, babe, if anything happens to me tomorrow, you know, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. You know, we talk about it because you just don't know. Even though I'm older, there's Correct. a possibility she could go first. Oh, I tell him. It I, could happen. I tell him, you know, we try. I don't we try. like to believe that. I I don't like to think about that. He doesn't that. like to hear it. I uh, I, I don't want to hear it, but it's, uh, you know, you have to accept, you, you have to accept. Correct. The possibility, you have to accept the possibility that the younger spouse could go first. How are you, how is the older spouse going to cope with that if the younger spouse gives them children and now they've got four, five, six children to care for at in an advanced at an advanced stage all by themselves i mean that can happen too that's another possibility so you have to discuss all of the possibilities there are enormous possibilities talk about it please talk to your spouse don't feel sh don't shy away from this topic it is so important it will hit you on the head before you know it when you get married the typical vow is in sickness and in health for richer for poorer till death do us part all things can happen talk about the things that can happen talk about how you're going to cope with those things if they happen you know you cannot walk into a relationship blind it will there will be surprises you don't like. Even if you think you've covered every possible topic, there will still be things that come up that you didn't anticipate. Correct. But the more willing you are to talk about everything that it comes to mind, the more willing you are to talk about every possibility, <laughs> The great, uh, the better you're prepared. The uh, uh, the greater the chance that your relationship is going to go well, and that if something does go wrong, you're prepared Correct. for it. Correct. And that's all I've got. And that's all I've got. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. And we do hope that you have gotten something out of this, and that you've enjoyed it. Telling sure you, you, talk you to your the partner. Like yeah, hit the like button and talk to your partner. Okay, call them out tonight. Sit with them and talk to them, honey. If something happens, if something were to happen, what will we do? What are we? What is our? What are our plans gonna be? Talk about it. Don't shy away from it. Don't feel like, oh, I'm wishing my partner to die or something. I'm not wishing my partner to die. Don't, we're don't all gonna feel die someday, and we you have know? to. Yeah, we, we, we have prepared. to discuss what we're going to do if it happens, because we don't know when it's coming. Unforeseen circumstances befall all of us. Correct. You Correct. don't know what's coming tomorrow or even later on today. You don't know. So you have to prepare yourself and be ready for anything that might happen. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just loving my husband. Mm. He's so cute. He's so beautiful. <laughs> Mm. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. God bless you. Shout out. For all those wonderful people all around the world who have been watching us and commenting, we want to shout out to the people who have mentioned where they're from. The UK, United Kingdom, Lesotho, Trinidad and Tobago, Edinburgh, Scotland, the Ivory Coast, Italy, Guyana, Beaumont, Texas, Kenya, Houston, Texas, Detroit, Michigan, Suriname, Jamaica, Dallas, Texas, Woodstock, Georgia, right. South Africa, right. 
Dominica, Toronto, Canada, Uganda. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you so much for sharing with your friends and relatives. God bless you all. God bless you guys. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.